Using Flutter and Flame, we're going to build this type of running chicken animation. The graphics are from the one of the free assets from itch.io. So if you're not familiar with itch.io, there's this browse section on the left here. You can click on Assets. I usually click on 2D for Flutter and Flame. And then I select Free. And then the one I'm using is Pixel Adventure 2 here. So I want to get this chicken. The chicken's right here. So let's click on download now. You can select to pay if uh, you're going to release your game. You, you don't necessarily need to, right? This is just to help the creator out, the artist out. But for this tutorial, click on no thanks. Just take me to the download and we can download this pack right here. Save it to your local directory and extract it. And then under enemies, I look for the chicken. The chicken I'm using, there's three different ones here, right? So I'm using the chicken run. And it's really small that it's uh, 32 by 34 pixels per frame here. So we're going to grab one of the chickens first. Flame is currently on 1.1.1 and Flutter 3.0.1 will work. I'm using it on a daily basis, but there are a bunch of warnings uh, in the debug console. And I think for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to switch Flutter to 2.10.0. This step is not needed, but you'll have to be able to put up with these warnings it doesn't affect the playability of the game, but it may be confusing, so I'm going to switch it. To switch it, you're going to need to find out where your um, your Flutter is installed. So I have mine in my home directory. It's under local bin. Whoops. Local Flutter local flutter so this is where my flutter is installed so i'm going to use git checkout i'm going to run flutter doctor after flutter doctor stops running you should have flutter 2.10.0 with Dart 2.16. Okay, so let's go back to our directory where we're going to create our our chicken. I'm going to call the chicken Charlie. The artist didn't name the chicken Charlie. I'm just naming the chicken Charlie myself. So I'm going to add flame. Flutter pub add flame. Then I'm going to create a directory for assets so that we can store Charlie in it. And I'll, under assets, I'll create a, a subdirectory called images. Okay, so start up VS Code. There are different animation sets. I'm going to take the one that says run, which is, so I'll put it into asset slash images. Let's drag and drop it in. I'm going to change the name to chicken. Okay, going to main.dart. I'm going to delete everything under the run app. And actually, for now, let's delete the run app too. Right, so generally, when you're running a Flutter game, any type of game, uh, or and you have a Flutter application, you have this main. So you can actually put stuff here. Hello world. And it will run.
So without the run app, you still do get this flutter window right here. It's white and there's nothing in it. There is this thing called hello world down here, which you can put any type of text message, right? So you can run any type of application that you want it to. Bar sum equals one plus one. Right here, you can see the any type of standard Dart uh, calculation you can put in here and run it. Normally, what you do is you run this thing called Run App. Which is from Flutter. And the thing is going to require a widget here. The widget that we want to run is called Game Widget. And the game widget is from Flame, which it auto imported this line here. But it needs a game, which is the Flame game. So let's, let's create a new Flame game. Let's call it Chicken Game. It's going to extend the Flame game. Right now, this is an empty class, but now we have an empty class for the Flame game. We instantiate it. We run it. Boom. Okay, so the first step is to load the game widget with run app. The next step is to load the assets for the game and we'll put this in the on when it loads so it's a uh, future void this on load is from flame So this method is from Flame and it's going to be used to load the assets. Now the screen should be black. We're going to use the override decorator. Okay, we have this small bit of code here. Okay, it's going to load the game widget. And it's going to load the asset for the game. The asset from the game that we want to load is this chicken. So we're going to load it as an image first. Image chicken image equals images dot load and it needs the file which is chicken dot png and it's not going to load because we have to specify the location of our assets in pubspec dot yaml Okay. 
the error here because this image it's taking it from the flutter widget so we're going to hide the one from the flutter widget system and we'll use the image from the flame the image composition package let's close it so you can see what's going on there's a image here and this image I'm pulling it from the dart UI I'm forcing it to do that because I'm hiding the image class so there's a class in the flutter material package that has the same name here or the flutter widget system that has the same name but the this image class although it's confusing is this is getting it from the dart ui thanks for joining us in the next video we'll get charlie chicken to be animated and we'll use the built-in joystick class of the flame system to add some control onto charlie